Hi, I'm Jim Klein, your new Chief Technology Officer here at Las Virginas Unified School District, and I'm thrilled to announce that LVUSD is going Google, which means that we're going to be using Google Apps for Education. Now, Google Apps such as Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Drive replace much of the functionality of Zimbra, and these and other new features will bring exciting new capabilities to all of our students and staff and empower them to communicate, collaborate, and share in amazing new ways. Now, any change like this is difficult, so you may be wondering why we're doing it. There are a number of reasons, but here are just a few. With Gmail, everyone can have up to a hundred times more storage space, which means you might never ever see that red quota bar again. Over 90% of all emails sent worldwide is spam, so it's always going to be a problem. But Google's massive user base means that the filter can learn from more people what's real and what's fake and give you better results. Google Apps are also more secure and reliable. All Google Apps data is stored privately and redundantly across six states and on three continents. Each data center is protected by top security teams and surveillance. Even if the district office is without power or internet access, Google Apps will still be available off-site. Google Apps also brings us much better document collaboration. With Google Drive, you can have several people editing the same document at the same time, all in real time. Okay, so those are a few of the reasons why, but let's talk about the how. We've done our best to make the how as easy as possible for you, which is part of the reason why this site exists. If you look at the links to the right, you'll notice there's a quick start guide, and I'd recommend you take a look at that first. That'll tell you how to activate your account and give you some basic tutorials on using Gmail and Google Calendar in the same ways that you use Zimbra. It also has instructions for moving content from Zimbra to Google, to Google Apps, like your calendar and your contacts. Once you're done with that, I'd recommend you spend a little bit of time with Google Apps and just explore and create and do some interesting things. And when you're ready for more information, be sure to come back to this site and take a look at some of the great tutorials and videos that you find here. As always, if you have any problems with anything, be sure to contact us at either the number that you see on the page here or the email address, and we'll get back to you as quickly as we possibly can. I hope you're as excited as I am about the potential of these cool, powerful tools, and I can't wait to see what you do next with Google Apps.